Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, Dr. Vivian E. Moore. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I hope you had a great week. Um... This week just went by so fast and which is a good thing because that means I got to the weekend, you know, even faster. And, uh, even though we had, um, we had some rainy weather, but you know, it, it, it just reminds me that we are officially in fall. And so, and I love this time of the year. I'm looking forward to the trees changing colors and those cool fall days and the cool fall nights. And, um, um, I just, I just love it. You know, it, it just makes me think of warm sweaters and, um, hot chocolate and, um, chili, you know, all those things, all those good things. And, you know, just wrapped up on the sofa, watching a good movie and, um, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to it. Even though, you know, we had the rain for like a couple of days. I mean, it rained literally all day long, all day, all night long. And so the next day, um, after the rain finally moved out and then it was like the sun came out and that was like the best feeling ever was to see the sun come out again. So, um, so I, you know, I like the fall and I know during this time of the year, you know, we have more rainy, wet days than we do, um, sunshiny days, but you know, it's a good balance between the two. So, you know, we, we have to, we have to accept the sunshine and then we have to accept the rain. So now that we talked about the weather, (laughs) officially talked about the weather. Now let's talk about today's show. So the title of today's show is still I rise. And the topic is don't count talented writers out. Now, don't you hate it when people ask what it is you do for a living? And then they want to um, examine your credentials to see if you're up to par. And when you don't meet their standards, they want to discount your talent. Well, I'm here to tell you, don't let it weigh you down. Because just like Dr. Maya Angelou said, and I quote, you may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still like air, I rise. So, um, you know, that just inspires me and it inspired today's show because you should never count talented writers out. Maybe all haven't reached the bestseller status yet, but it doesn't mean that they won't. And like every great event, it takes time to cultivate, time to hone your craft while you are developing your, your story. Now, my advice to every author out there is don't give up. Your time will come and you are destined for greatness. If you believe it, you can achieve it. You know, there's a passage of scripture in, um, in the Bible, uh, Nehemiah chapter eight, verse 10 that says, and I, and I'm just going to paraphrase, paraphrase here. Um, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Reminding, uh, reminded you're reminding yourselves of this each time your expectation falls short. You should remind yourself of this each time your expectation falls short. Do I have to say that again? Because you have to, the joy of the Lord is your strength because that's where all of our strength come from. That's where our joy comes from. That's where everything that that's inside of us, everything that we do, you know, every success story, whether you believe or not. And I am truly a believer. I know that the the joy of the Lord is your strength. It is my strength. And I'm reminded myself every time. My expectation falls short. I remind myself of that. And you know, never place your goals on a timetable. Allow them to progress naturally. But in the meantime, keep doing what you do. One of the most inspiring stories that I love so much is uh, Theodore Swiss 
Geisel or Geisel. And if you don't know who that is, well, I'm about to tell you um, that he's actually known as Dr. Seuss. Now, he wasn't a real doctor, but still, um, that was his pseudonym, Dr. Seuss. And his books have sold over 600 million copies. So why am I bringing him up? Well, this book, and to think that I saw it on Marbury Street, was his very first children's book. And it was rejected 27 times before Vanguard Press finally accepted his work. It was the 28th time that he submitted it. And Vanguard Press said, yes, yes, we will publish it. Now, Dr. Seuss rose to meet the challenge after being rejected. and But he steadfastly continued to become one of the most famous authors of children's books in the world. And let's not forget about Stephen King. You know, everyone knows and who's ever read a, a horror story or a suspense knows who he is. But before he achieved his goal of becoming a published author, one of the most horrifying <laughs> books ever written, um, and, and it was a movie, um, it was Carrie. Um, that book was rejected 30 times before Doubleday Publishing accepted this, accepted that book. And, and, and Stephen King, he kept rising, you know, no matter what he had, a, he had a full-time day job, you know, but still he didn't let that stop him because he knew what he wanted and he knew that it was achievable if he didn't give up. So just like them, that's exactly what I'm telling you today. Don't give up. It doesn't matter how many times you've been rejected, you know, just like air, you will rise. You can't keep a good offer down. You can't do it. <laughs> it's just, there is just no way to do it. If you believe in yourself, other people will believe in you too. But you know, you got to have the, you have to have the, the, you have to have the confidence. And I'm not telling you to be arrogant about it because you know, that doesn't have anything to do with it. But everyone needs confidence in themselves. You take a baby that's just learning how to, how to walk. They're crawling. But if they don't feel confident enough to take that first step, guess what? They're not going to do it. But when you encourage them and tell them you can do it, come on, just try. You can do it. And then they stand and then they walk. So that's what you have to do. Think of yourself as a baby just learning to walk. You have to stay in stay encouraged. You can't give up. You have to keep trying, although you may fall time after time after time, but you don't give up. You got to keep striving. You got to keep trying until you achieve. And I mean that to me, that is the simplest thing in the world. Um, you know, and I can't say it enough and, and I could continue with more examples, but my point is already proven even through multiple rejections, rejection, you rejections. I don't know why I can't say that word. Um, you must remain diligent and believe that the next time will be the winner. Now, I'm not saying uh, in regards to people that go to, you know, gambling, because it's, it's not based on that at all. Um, because you, you shouldn't see your career as a gamble. Never see your career as a gamble. Um, you know, if, if you bet this, you know, and if you lose, then you just try again. No, no, you shouldn't see it that way. You should see it as commitment. And you're not gambling. You know, you're not betting anything on it. All you're trying to do is achieve your goal by, uh, by, by just continuing to move forward, um, by being persistent. And you have to, because um, per persistence pays off. You know, it really does. And you know, just let me just take it, take it back a notch um, to to the gambling. And and I don't do this, but um, but I, I saw this movie, and it was about this young lady who was a jockey and uh, she was from Australia and uh, she was like the youngest of, oh my gosh, how many kids? About eight or nine kids. And uh, so, um, so anyway, the, the mom died, uh, you know, when, when she was just little, she was a baby, the mom died. And so the father, um, he raised all of the children. And so he, uh, he had a, um, he, he ran a, um, a, a horse training business and all of his children helped. They all had to do chores. They all had their jobs that they had to do, um, to make sure that, you know, that, that, the, that the work was done. And so the youngest daughter, you know, she was doing, doing, you know, she had her part too, but she wanted to become a rider. She wanted to be a jockey. And during the time that, uh, that she wanted to do this, there weren't, um, any women jockeys in Australia. But she didn't let that stop her. She persisted. 
And she kept trying, even though they kept telling her, no, they, no one wanted to give her a tryout, but she didn't stop. She kept trying and she kept, you know, per, being persistent and until she finally got what she wanted. And, and just to make a, a, a long story short, not only did she become the first woman jockey, but she also, <laughs> she won one of the biggest titles ever um, in Australian, uh, uh, in the history of, um, of horse racing. Um, and uh, she's famous for it. And you, you can look her up. I can't remember her name straight off the top of my head, but, um, but you should look her up. Look up the, um, the first uh, female jockey in Australia. And, um, you know, because nobody believed in her, but it took just one person to do it. To, to know that she had the ambition that she was brave and that, you know, that she was, she was so courageous and determined that, um, that she could get the job done. She believed in herself first and foremost, no matter what they kept telling her she couldn't do, she knew that she could do it and she proved them, she proved them wrong. And, you know, and that's just the point I'm trying to make, you know, we can rise from, from anything, you know, like, like a Phoenix, out of the, out of the ashes, we can still rise. You know, nothing can keep us down if we don't let it, but you have to believe in yourself first. You know, there's a part that you have to play, have to play. And if you want people to believe in you, then you have to believe in yourself first. You know, we must rise to meet each occasion as if it's the first and never be afraid of hearing the word no, because it doesn't necessarily mean never only that you just you, you must wait until the timing is right for the answer we've waited for it to be yes. And that's in anything, you know, sometimes God tells us, you know, he doesn't say no, but he says not yet. And so somehow, sometimes that's just how it is, you know, in this business, you know, um, look at JK Rawlings. I mean, she just seemed like, you know, became a overnight sensation. Like most of the, of the famous authors that we see, you know, we don't know their backstory. All we see is that, that headline telling us that they are a best-selling author, you know, international best-selling author, but we don't know their backstory. We don't know what they, what they went through to get to that point, you know, to, to finally, um, uh, make that achievement. And so, and that could be the story for all of us, you know, but you'll never know if you give up. So you have to keep rising no matter how many times you fall, you got to keep rising that's important. And, and, you know, I, I, I always hold that poem of Maya Angelou, you know, near and, and dear to my heart because it says so much and it speaks so loud and it covers so many different issues. You know, you, you can fit it into whatever description you need it, you know, when needed, but, um, but it's the truth. It is. It is, it is definitely the truth. So never count any talented writers out because yesterday's negative reply may become tomorrow's positive. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. But before I let you go, I want to make sure that I give you all these URLs because I want you to stay in contact with the show and, um, and listen to Spreaker and all of the other outlets that uh, Book Chat is broadcast over. So, of course, the first one is to Spreaker and that is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian e. Moore. You can follow me like me on Facebook and also Twitter and also Instagram. Um, you can just type in my name, author Vivian e. Moore for Facebook. You can uh, find me on Twitter as God's property 46 and you can find me on Instagram uh, as God's property 51. Um, also, uh, you can check out my website if you so desire. And that is at HTTPS colon four slash four slash www, uh, author Vivian E more.com or either author E H shepherd.com. And also if you follow my blog, uh, that is, uh, Vivian E more.blogspot.com HTTPS colon four slash four slash www. And then, um, Vivian E more. Um, at blogspot.com and um, also if you did not catch the live show today um, don't despair because that is the one good thing about this show it is recorded every single episode so if you missed today's episode or last week's episode or last year's episode guess what <laughs> you can go to Spreaker you can go to Apple Podcasts you can go to Spotify iHeartRadio Google Podcasts CastBox Deezer 
Podcast Addict, Podchaser, YouTube, SoundCloud, Giles Saving, and iTunes, and hopefully coming soon, Amazon Podcast as well. So um, big things are happening, and you know I'm glad that I was here to be a part of it, and I thank you so much because you have helped me achieve so many goals um, that you didn't even realize that you were helping me with. But I thank you so much for listening, for downloading. Um, we didn't make the goal of 10,000 this year, but so what? You know, we're, we got so close to it. So that counts. It definitely counts. And I thank you um, for, for, for listening and for sharing. And go out there if you don't mind. Uh, and like the show on uh, on iTunes, well, on all of the ones that I've, that I've given you. You can like it on Spreaker or the Apple Podcast, and you know, give us a give us a four or five star, whichever one that that you um you know that that you so endeavor to do. I will appreciate however many stars you give me, but just to let me know that you are listening and liking the show. And um, tomorrow is worship day, so I hope you're planning on attending church somewhere, um, whether it's in a physical building or you're listening to it, um, you know, over the airwaves or you, you are uh, looking at uh, live programs on social media. However you are, the word is coming to you, please be a part of it because right now, you know, we need to hear a word from the Lord. We do. And not just on Sunday, but every single day of the week. And um, tell someone that you love them because tomorrow is not promised. Today may be the only chance you get to say that. So I love you. I hope you love me back. Until the next time you hear my voice, God bless you and goodbye. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.